Hey everybody! So as you guys can see, I am in a protective style once again. I'm stuck on protective styling and if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to all my new subscribers, my old subscribers and my viewers and my followers, new and old. And um, to you, to the, to, I'm sorry, to those of you that are new, I'm not really going to go into depth about it, but I like protective styling because um, that's how my hair thrives and you know, I say this all the time and of course because I did the Miss Diva Dev challenge, Miss Diva Dev that's here on YouTube, she has a six month protective style challenge and hopefully she will be having it again this time and I will be joining again and I definitely definitely my hair has really found a way to thrive um with protective styling I don't do it all the time but I do it kind of most of the time because of my hectic schedule that I have sometimes my hair needs to be put away because I don't have time to wash my hair every week or try to do a you know a nightly routine to try to keep it up and refresh in the morning sometimes I just need my hair to be put away because sometimes I don't have the time to do all that not saying that you know um, protective styling is all the way to go like that's it bottom line you know whatever like that you know you do what works for your hair and this is what works for my hair so that's basically it so but if you are tuning into my channel um I you do see my real hair as you guys see all the you know so I'm still natural up under here up under the connect line hair <laughs> I'm still natural you know but I just like I, I just like this because this is I just like it but anyway um, what you guys are seeing is a failed braid, um, corn rolls, this is, this is fail. This is a big fail, okay? Big fail. Um, I try to do Ghana braids, uh, no. Um, it doesn't look like what I pictured it to be. Um, I was following Brianna Rudder, the, the girl that I always, um, refer you guys to, like, with the tree braids and things of that nature. And, um, yeah, I had a hard time. I almost gave up. I was about to do something else. I was about to go to my, you know, my, my regular signature style. I was going to just do a twist out. I was just going to do something else besides the style that I wanted to do. But I was like, you know what? Just go ahead and do it. You know, trial and error. Things happen. What can you do? Just go ahead and do it. So, um, in, in the braids, you can tell where I added hair because I tried to do the technique that she did with the in the video of the Ghana braids. But then I I know how to do, I do the tree braids. I'm still not an expert at it. I did, only did it twice, I believe. And, you know, I added the hair as if I was tree braiding. So I think that was a little bit more comfortable for me. And it didn't look like you could see where it started at. So there's braids that I had to do over. Um, I believe this, this braid I had to do over like 20 times. This braid I, I did over twice um and stuff like that so it was just like you know i was just very frustrated um it took me this should have only taken about I, I forgot how much how much how many hours she said it took hers but this should have only took about probably four hours or so um it shouldn't have took longer than six hours okay and i believe i did six hours or eight hours because i was messing up and the hair was getting all tangly and um i try to blow dry some of the hair before i prior to braiding but i didn't feel like doing that i just wanted to hurry up and do the hair because first off it was like nine o'clock or eight o'clock and it was just like crazy so i'm like let me just do this hair and um it, it was late basically i'm always doing my hair late you know because i don't i really don't have time during the day so i was like all right so i'm just basically going to um do this hair now and call it a day so that's what i basically did and i um use i'll show you some of the packagings like in the in the pip area also i'll show you some of the packagings over here what i use if i didn't throw them in the garbage i'll just show you just some of the things that i use and i purchased the connect on here that i'm showing you in the pip area from my local beauty supply store in my area so that's where i purchased it from um how many packs that i use i will say i use about eight nine packs because of the way the braids are set up <laughs> um since they are thick you have to use you know and sometimes the jumbo braiding hair doesn't come with a lot of so some of the the some of the packs that i purchased the packs of hair are is not a lot of hair in it so um i had to use basically the whole pack almost the whole pack for one braid because the thickness of the braid that is why um the braids were slimmer and i wasn't adding any hair it would be a different story but I had to, you know, use a lot of packs. 
and I had these packs prior to because when I go to the beauty supply store, sometimes I always just pick up some hair here and there just in case or like that. Now I, I believe I don't have any more. I probably have like two more packs of hair, um, of like of 27 and another pack of hair of 33. So I need to just go to the store probably tomorrow or next week and just buy a few packs of hair. Um, the packs of hair probably cost between $3.99 and $5.99 a pack. Um, I'm not sure. Um, you know, back in the day it was like three for five. I don't think my beauty supply store does that anymore. Um, I believe they used to. I think my beauty supply store does. That's closer to me. I'm not sure. Um, don't quote me, but yeah, I live in Jersey if you guys are wondering. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like, yeah. So anyway, it wasn't a problem for me because I didn't have to go out and buy. I already had. So that's why I like to buy things prior to because I don't like to run out and try to find something. If I run out of sun, I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta get this and it's already at home. So that's why I like to buy stuff prior to because it's already here. Um, what else? Um, as far as moisturizing my hair, I did my LCO method prior to. I washed my hair prior to. I did it on stretched hair. I always do my hair on stretched hair because it's easier to manage because my hair is tightly coiled. And I don't want to do my hair on freshly washed hair. I used to a long time, a while ago. But now I, I, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm about to stretch my hair. So I stretched my hair through threading. If you guys are not familiar with threading, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. And I also did a video myself on the first time of me threading. Um, but I've gotten used, used to it. So I, I, it's easy because I do it all the time. I've been doing it for a minute. Um, so yeah, I do that to stretch my hair and it definitely does work. Um, I do it overnight. I stretch my hair all the way out through the day. And then after I get off of work, whenever time I can do my hair, that's when I do my hair. Um, yeah, so that's basically about that. So I did the LCO method. My LCO method has become a little simplistic nowadays because... Uh, like I said before, I don't really have time. Um, so I use the Bel Nuvo um, Healthy Hair Milk. The, I have it right here. Avocado and Shea Healthy Hair Milk. I use this. Um, it's very good for detangling. I, I like this. I'm not going to do a review. I, I will do a review soon because I want to show you guys a demo how I put it on my hair. At least one section. Um, but so far, so good. And I use that. That's like my leave-in slash detangler. Um, so that's basically my L. My C is basically the Healthy Hair Milk because it's, it's like a cream consistency. And my O slash B which is butter is my serene body sense the mango shea butter moisturizing growth aid i did a review on this um by natural Nelsie and her mom um definitely definitely great um product so i use that to seal and i did some light detangling as i went through because my hair was you know even though it was stretched and detangled prior to um doing my hair i still did some light detangling i sprayed my hair with obia um curl hydration spray and i, I did a review on that if you guys are wondering and that's basically it so um yeah so that's basically it. so i did this on freshly washed stretch detangled hair um so that's basically it about that i'm not gonna get the whole rundown about you know i just give you a brief synopsis of it um and that's basically about that oh and the styler i used was the cream jelly styler by antoine couture i always use that when i do my corn rolls and things of that nature i, I use that all the time um, so, yes, right here, if you guys are wondering, um, I have another, um, thing, this is done, basically, you guys can see that, um, yeah, so, um, I, I have another one, a bigger one that I bought at the hair show, um, in Atlanta, um, so that's basically it, you guys, um, and I oil my scalp with JBCO Lavender, yeah, um, after I, or as I was doing my, after I finished a corn roll, or whatever, or I did it after and massaged it in, and then I put the wrap and roll on the braids, right here i should have put it down here and then the ends are straight i dipped them in hot water this morning boiling hot water and that's basically it um there's some frizzies here i was going to take a lighter and try to calm them down i did you know um cut them but i'm gonna put some wrap and roll and see if that'll calm them down a little bit if not i'll do the lighter thing but i'm scared to do that because i'm gonna catch my hair on fire then I have no hair. So, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it, you guys. I'm going to ramble on. But um, this is my hair. So, I'm going to do a 360 so you guys can see. I hope it don't blur out because this camera is doing it. And get on my nerves when be doing it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. I know it blurred out. It looked like it blurred out a little bit. All right, and these are long. I would stand up and show you guys, but you guys get the point of where it's at. Um, this is basically where it's at. Um, yeah, it's very long. It's like by my um, stomach, okay? So if you guys want to see, let me try to stand up a little bit. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's right here. So it's that long. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to show y'all all that. But I was just showing y'all the, the, um, the braids where they were. But that's basically it. Um, yeah, so I will keep these in for two weeks. Um, not no four weeks because um, some of the hair in the back, like say for instance right here, is um, coming out somewhere. One of those braids, I could feel my hair coming out. So I'm like, mm, and I'm not washing my hair and knees or nothing. So two weeks is fine for these. Um, I can't leave them in for no three or four weeks. I'm going into protective style mode again anyway, like the third week of August. I'm from crochet braids in my hair. So um, that's basically about that. And then I also got an idea from a curl friend. Um, she told me um, to like pin them up in like a pin curl style type deal. So I think I'm going to do that. But that's probably like the only type of style that I would do today since this is the first day of me wearing them out. I'm just going to wear them out. And I think uh, I'll wear them out tomorrow or now i pin them up tomorrow or the next day or what have you. Um, I know if I wear them um while you know for praise dance then i think I, I i'll definitely put them up but as far as a bun this is gonna be a real huge bun so i don't know about that but as far as pin curling like pinning them up that will look real nice but that's the only styles that i'll be doing and doing it like this or have a point to hold and hold it or twist it or something like that nothing nothing spectacular about that but that's basically it, you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I haven't been talking too much. But that's basically it. This is my fail um, so-called Ghana braids type deal. Um, you know, whatever. You know, you, you, you learn. You learn this hair journey um, all the time. And, you know, sometimes you can't get something right the first time or the second time or the third time. You know, finally, you know, you'll get it. But, you know, hey, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. So... You get the experience and you get to say that you tried this, that, and the third. You know, so that's how I look at it, you know, so it's whatever. So, yeah, that's basically it, you guys. So, I'm going to get out of here and um, I hope you guys like it. And um, I'm going to show you the top. Yeah, that's the top of my hair. So, that's it, you guys. So, I'm out of here. And um, if I left anything out, I'll definitely entertain the video because I feel as though I'm leaving something out. But um, I'm trying to hurry up because um, I was dozing off before I did this video. And I was like, let me just record this because I got, like, mad videos that... I'm sorry, you guys. There's just so much going on. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's a lot. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm out of here, you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't ask. If you don't want to ask, comment below. Don't forget to answer your box. Or yes, me, Marky, 97, I'll do it right back to you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get out of here.